We've been through many shootouts. We've been through many double crossings. Through too many stuff going on. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption 2. The series has been pretty good, um, in my opinion. It seems like you guys are liking it. So if you do continue to like this, drop a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your bell notifications so you know when I post, guys. And um, let's hop into it. Follow me on my Instagram, links in the description down below. Let's go into the video, y'all. All right, let's see what's up around here. All right, so he asked us not to do anything in roads. Let's go over here and see if we can find out anything about these greys. Englishman called Gavin. I don't really care that much. Let's keep going. Okay. That was weird that I just popped up just like that. All this Lamorne air is free for you. What does he want? Not a smart move to travel alone in these parts, especially looking like you. <sighs> you threatening me, you piss ant. Stupid bastard's got a problem with authority! You're done for! If you're lucky, you get a grave for yourself! Can I not fight him? We got a special hole for your kind. Doesn't seem like I can fight him. Yep, doesn't seem like I can fight him. I'm gonna have to leave. Well, shoot. I would have fought him. Beat his ass. But it is what it is. It's all because of Dutch. Dutch said not to, not to, um, you know, thing, so I guess. They're gonna tell me can't, can't go in there. This here the gray plantation. Yep. Why are you pointing a gun at me, buddy? Hall, and that's as close as you're getting to it. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Lee. All right, have a word, but I ain't got the time to help you. Okay. Obliged. So I get to go right on the property. I'm gonna ask her, uh, bro. I'm already in here. Relax, bro. What's wrong with you? This just screams money to me. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Okay. Let's go talk to this person over here. Mr. Bo. What was that kind of jump, bro? What the heck? This door. Alright, it's not open. Unless somebody's around the back, maybe? Aha! There you go. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. Mm -hmm. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. 
Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mm -hmm. behind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo in on the case. edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. All right. I could have robbed you, bro. Oh, I hope you know that. Where's my horse? What, how did my horse get back over here? Come on, midnight. Let's go. You're lucky, and I didn't want to run you over. Sneak into the grounds of the, uh, they say briefly, it's already Brathwaite, but whatever. Into the old manor. Dutch's asked us not to cause trouble or use weapons in roads, so we won't use weapons in roads. It's annoying, not gonna lie. Been trying. How far is this gazebo? Jesus, this gazebo's all the way over there. Are you serious? There's a guard right there. to go around him. Penelope. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Why, yes, I am. 
I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange. <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. Mm -hmm. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Ohio. There you ever is. been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Her voice is well, kind of Well, they tolerate him like... because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit. But here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. I'm gonna try to go back the same way I came. And avoid all the cards. Let's check the map. I might just go this way and then call my horse. I'm gonna take the long way around. It's probably best. You got this large piece of land. There's, it's very easy to, uh, you know get onto it without being seen do what i gotta do and then go ahead it's a nice set of plantation though going through the corn field the the yeah the corn or sugar cane fields i guess this is corn I'm not very sure My horse is still over there in the field, so I need to go get it and then leave out of here. Get out of here. Think I see my noble steed over there. Alright, let's get out of here. Give this to him. Just to end this off completely. And I think yeah. we should be good after that. These two are in love. That's cute. The fact that these two families live so close to each other and are beefing. Just passing through, don't mean to intrude on your politics. Damn jackass. Bruh, I would antagonize him. Honestly. Hey there, just met me. 
you literally just met with me, buddy. You know me, I'm on official business for the family. I'm on official business for the family. <laughs> All right, Mr. Bow. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. It'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Alright, we'll see what happens with this mission here. We still can't help it about. Mount up, alright. And follow me to roads. Come on! Why are you yelling, buddy? You don't gotta yell. Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. You don't have to yell, bro. Come on, man. It's not that serious. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she oh, wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is. I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. Mm. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun! Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? Interesting. All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Now, now, take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Yeah. Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. 
Good. Very good. Very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? Interesting. I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Did he just throw a rock or something at her? At them? Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. Doesn't seem exciting. Good day, Sheriff. I just will make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, don't give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Yeah, it's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Go home! Go. Shut your mouth! What you the doing? hell is going on? Oh, oh, well, oh, my God. God. This sounds like a lot of noise. Gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Oh, founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. <laughs> His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to this speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was Bo. a cucky little... Bo, weren't we just leaving? Oh. Well, who the hell is this? Mm -hmm. Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, or what? You'll hit me? <gasps> Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Yeah, follow me, Come Ronnie. on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Okay. I thought I was about to go and fight these guys. I'm not going to lie. I can't be violent this entire time. It's just You don't want to go back me. and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you... I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. Uh huh. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean? We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. I guess, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, Family. Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. Bro. No one seen her in years. She weren't right. Now, and Penelope said, I, I ain't heard about daughters, bro. Like, about gold. But family, gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. Family always be trying to like bring you down sometimes, bro. Especially in these times, family, all oh, you want to be part awful. of this tradition, Nobody this and that, or whatever. That it awful. is what it is. My cousins are vindictive bastards, my brothers are vindictive bastards, my cousins are worse. They started <laughs> it, I know, but. You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! 
I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Bro, they be like, what's the word? If I'm gonna be holding you back, war. doing certain things, bro. Like, if you wanna, you wanna try to do something. Usually, you, some people just don't have the help of family to do it. You understand, and that that kind of that can that can get very very annoying for you, especially when you want to do stuff. You know, like that's the one thing about family. Family is good and all, but sometimes they may be in so into tradition and so into the nonsense of of um you know the stuff that they were doing before that um it gets to a point where they are against you, and you got you guys. You guys got to like be aware of those kind of things. Be aware that family can hold you back and not letting that and not letting that kind of thing um get to you. Get what I'm saying? So um I hope you guys kind of understand what I was saying. I know it was kind of all over the place about it, but really and truly whenever you have those family values and stuff, like you got to be also very careful with what you decide to um take on from those family values because at the end of the day they could hold you back from your true potential um i get that some families are extremely good but there are also some families that will that will are very very stuck in tradition and think that you should be this way all the time and that's never a good thing so let's go on here and do dutch's mission here let's see what we can do of course do. of course oh and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. He is drunk, drunk. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Where's the other now guy? Now listen, sir. Wasn't he listening? There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem. Wasn't that all. guy just oh you unless are he's in part safe of us? Hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Alright, let's go on to this thing. Around with some people. How are you? Pretty good. What's up, Archibald? And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Maybe. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. The law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. sure. I was about to say the same thing he did. Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. 
We appreciate okay, that. Archibald. They rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. They like to, to hang people a lot. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Everybody Old has. family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the late liquor rules. laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's gold. Rumored, but the Greys and the Braithwaites think the other stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. It must be. For them to be fighting over stuff like this, it must be. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it? Serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. No oh boy. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? What's up with it? Do I have to get off? I guess so. These damn flies! I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Come on, mister. Oh, somebody did. Somebody did. Poor guy. No, this must have happened recently. Mm. Poor guy. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Impressive. Okay. You got a keen eye. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. It's probably absolutely disgusting to be cleaning up stuff like this. Can I not take anything? I'm assuming not. Ooh. I'm playing cop right now. Dangerous business. I feel like every every GTA game. You play a cop at some point in time. It's just interesting. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Oh. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Go right at the crossroads. Well, it sounds like you fellas got your work cut out for you around here. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle yes. Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Could drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Are they that bad? That's Anyone crazy. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up. Then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See a wagon over there. Sir. 
See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How would I handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Sure. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Uh, let's go right. We'll take the right. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Hush. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it. Deputy Williamson. Right, let's go over here. Forget the rider. Don't round him up later. Get the other one. I don't know. He might hear me coming. Him down. Quick, hide. Another one coming this way. Anthony. Anthony, where you at, boy? Interesting. God damn fool. How does he not see me? Where you at, boy? Anthony. I'm not even moving. If he can't see me here, he can't see me. My turn. Pick him up. Taking him to the wagon. These moonshiners. Ah, crap. A small little bridge. Jesus. Thought there were only one. Just drop him with the others. Damn, he ain't gotta throw them down like that. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so don't you tell me about <laughs> that is the last time i'll mention it i swear yeah. plant a dynamite by the distillery Bill, where you where you going, Bill? Why he's standing Bruh. I actually just died. That's crazy. I need to stop like I need to stop stop exposing myself like that. I'd be exposing myself way too much, not gonna lie.
I'm gonna just use all of these. Oh, come on. Shooting this guy in the face and it's not killing him. Shot in the face, my boy. I don't see any more. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. A worn double barrel shotgun. Let's start looting. Come on, Arthur. I'd rather not be here when our friends notice the shine's gone. I want to get some loot, bro. These men probably got some stuff that they need. I'm looting, Bill. Come on, Bill. I'm looting. Gotta grab some stuff, some items from these guys. We won't loot everybody, but we'll loot. I'll just go with these three over here. Get some loot. Give me the loot. Why did it flash like that? Let's go back. It's strange that my that everything just flashed up like that. It's very very weird that it did that. Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Mm -hmm. ah. Seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Uh-huh. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. Mm -hmm. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My Interesting. Cousin, Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others. If you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill! Get this stuff out of here! Come on. You ride yep. with me. Okay. We just took all that moonshine Can right I there. Somewhere near camp boss? Yes. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald yeah. didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. Mm -hmm. These lawmen, these two families. I mean, it's I just really them fighting, think we can basically. play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, 
you know what? Why don't I race you back? Alright, let's ask that three. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go. You started going before me, you bud. You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. I've already caught you, Dutch. Come on, bro. My horse is better. That's just it. My horse is better. My horse is just I better. Sure That's all it is. Faster than that when the law's on your tail. Oh shoot, he's on my butt. Yeah, you ain't you ain't getting past me. Oh shoot. I just I just messed it up, bro. I did not I was not even watching the, the thing. I might lose this race, y'all. Crap. My fault. My fault. My fault. Wait, where are we going? I'm cutting straight through here. Unless you catch a sec I'm cutting straight you through win, here. This won't be much of a race. I'm just picking my moment, Dutch. Yeah. I'm 100% cheating right now. But it's none of his business. And I won. Easily, we, we we had to cheat, bro. I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you age didn't slow down. I just cheated. So that's all. That better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. Here. I was gonna say you're like a son to me, but you're more than that. That was weird. That was very, very weird. That made me feel weird. You know, I think I've heard enough of your opinion. It'll take more than that, boy. Yeah. Now make this useful. Right. driving me insane with your constant complaining. Let's uh brush the horse. Somebody sounds like they're they're very annoyed. Let's feed our horse. What what's wrong with this horse, bro? I'm gonna shoot this horse, bro. What's wrong with you. All right, we'll do one more mission, then we're gonna we're gonna end it in this episode oh that's why he feels he looks so dead I gotta eat my cores are so are very low right now where are my other where are my items? Um Hey Arthur. What's going on? That's why. Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Okay, thank you. Seems Appreciate to be a lot you. going on. You're telling me. Over here okay, just seems so thanks. hot. People must must have smelled so bad at this time. 
feel like people probably smell horrible. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers Better in your, your pillow? pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. Interesting. What is she getting on about? My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here... I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough! Both of you! Well, come with me then. You want to head out there? Interesting. Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Yeah. All right. All right. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? Word dang. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn Pretty much, mouth. bro. She just sounds like a complainer. Stop complaining. Yep. Things happen. You cool down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Are you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Pretty much. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health She's has not him. deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. So boring. Oh, <laughs> wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> He ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding Probably not. something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. We got work to okay. do. Get off. Here we are. Get off. No, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No, you insane. I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. She we seems... rob fools and rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure. This time, there'll be time she for seems a little bit childish. Enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. She seems extremely, extremely childish. Just the way, like, who would go out there and say that out loud like that? Nothing. She just was so loud and blatant about it. How did that little skinny man push me back like that, bro? Talk to the clerk. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. 
Alright, send. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Let's post this letter. We need to go back over here. And uh, talk to these people around here. See what she's doing. Hopefully she isn't effing stuff up. She got new clothes, blue. really I'm now? Trying. Try harder. Hey. She got new clothes suddenly. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie. Not lady. Okay, Sadie. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. Mm -hmm. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Sure. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. Sure. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Yeah, she seems angry. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. She hey seems there. extremely angry. Hey. What uh what you folks up to? Just heading home. None your business. You're in Lamorne Raider Country. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Oh. Go, go, go! God damn it! Get moving now! Whoa! I'll get ah. that shit! Pull over! Them for Christ's sakes! What the hell was that? They was gonna rob us. Nope. I'm gonna run this son of a bitch down! What the hell was he using? You okay there, Sadie? Of course. I think I can handle it. I could shoot a gun, didn't I? I don't remember asking you to prove it. See? Not many still standing. You are enjoying this car too much. Hey, you run, you goddamn coward! I think we're good here, Arthur. I shoot. All right, I'll drive us back. Bruh, she she almost jacked up everything, bruh. She almost jacked up everything. We weren't supposed to be shooting people. I refrained from shooting people. This entire time. The one time I go anywhere with her, we end up having to shoot people. Now, why is that happening? Bruh. Bro, fellas, focus no, on yourself. Yeah, corrupted by here. women, man. Why? Focus because on yourselves. You caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Yep. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. It Hope is. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? 
Maybe. Dodge. Maybe not. Hey, you want me to drive? So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, I've run into them before. Some local gang. Bro, these horses are moving so slow. Why are they moving so slow? Won't you go upset and piercing about that letter? How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be yeah, I can tell. No mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind bothers. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mm -hmm. mention. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well... They say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. All right. Um. Let's see. Hey, Arthur. Can, can I have a quick word? Why is everybody calling my name? Alright, we are going to end today's episode here. Thank you guys for all the love and all the support on this video. Or these uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, yeah, we've been doing... We've been going pretty decent with this series. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. Actually, you know what? You know, I'm going to do one more mission. Because I don't want to... I don't want to finish my thing here so i'm gonna do one more i'm gonna do one more thing here we're gonna do one more how is dutch i mean how does he seem to you i'm about the same as usual i guess i i really love him you know but if he like he always says loyalty is everything so arthur excuse me miss o'shea what you want i bring a gift the great gift of information. So you got some sure tip what? off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. Sure. Yes. You, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long okay. as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Well, we'll see. Come on, then, you miserable bastards. How do you get wind of this, old plan? All right, let's see here. Grab a thumbnail here. Arthur looks like a G, bro. Arthur looks like a G. Can I not go any further in? Uh... Zoom. Why does it look so blurry? We only been down here all in five minutes. While you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. Sure. <laughs> hey, you don't know 
don't want in on this. What's that grog house? I don't know what that is. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Knee high to a grasshopper. I failed to see how that make any sense, but sure. I gotta get a thumbnail, but this is not zooming in as much as I want it to. Yeah, and it's blurry. Why is it so blurry? Maybe because of how much I'm zooming. I might need to do Once it for myself. A decade, maybe. So what is it? You scoped here exactly. Okay, might need to do it myself. Here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. Okay. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Didn't you now, like see us don't here? Try anything. And we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. Mm -hmm. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around. Pretty much. Not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay. Why don't you check out around the back? Come on. Help me out here. Let's see what's going on here. Let's search in here and see what he has in here. Now, let's see what's inside. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. People just leave these things unguarded like this. Hey! Think I say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Yeah, you! Stop! Get back here! There's a whole lot of them back there. Light a shot, boys. Get rid of these sons of bitches. There are a lot of them back yep. there. Well, nice going, Uncle. Most guarded wagon in goddamn history. How will I know? Am I supposed Everyone to shoot these guys? Alright, y'all, y'all, y'all shooting at me a little bit too much. I don't like that. Alright, it doesn't seem like I can use my gun. Where the hell are we going? I gotta keep going. Getting out of here! What kind of dumb questions? Keep going! We're losing them! You wait to get out the bitches! They're still on us! Where are my longer guns? You can move fast when you have to, can't you? Quick! Get off the trail! Into the woods! Let's shake him and get back to camp! No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leaving Cornwall's men at camp. Alright! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Uh, let, let, let's hide in here. Quick! Go on. Get out of here. But they would see the horses, bro. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. Alright. Let's get out of sack. <laughs> Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you right, keep watching. Be dark now. again. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Ugh. It's gonna be dark again. I can't get my thumbnail. All right. 
<sighs> Let's try and get out of here. Hey. Shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, mm -hmm. I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. Better not be. Oh, boy. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> All right, they're coming down here. We're gonna have to do something about these guys. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. I'm not going side. I guess I can't go side. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's got an ugly security. Is that all you got? This fella really don't like getting robbed. Well, who would like to get robbed? Let's just hope we don't run out of bullets. What happened to keep this coal, Martha? But I didn't shoot him. God damn it, they're piling in this way now. Let me get in there. There's a goddamn horde of them on the left here. Ain't you glad now I'd shoot you? Ah! Oh, this is it. I'm officially retired. They're coming in from the front. Oh, shit. Fire. The oil from that ladder. Damn it. We got more on this side. Straight to the dome. How about we stop robbing Cornwall for a while? I didn't know we were robbing Cornwall. All right. Uh. Shoot him. We don't get out of here soon. We're. Too Why am I still dying? I'm I'm getting stuff, bro. What the heck? That makes no sense, bro. That makes absolutely no sense. Why am I still dying? Bro, get us out of here. They could have climbed out of here a while ago. That's my issue. Let's head to the woods! Let's go. Where are we Get going, Bill? Cover. We'll try to lose him in the woods. Let's go this way. Come on now, we try to lose him. Try to lose these boys. 
get out of here. Bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. Anything dumb, Williamson? You're on your own. Oh, shut the hell up. Quick, behind these rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. Let's grab a knife. And I'll take the right. You're right on my right. You see anything? Not yet. a hand now. Charles Anko. Bro, I'm gonna run up with all these guys and get some food, bro. Shoot, I need to, I need to eat. Still alive? Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. Uh, we got some money, didn't we? Sure. We now got we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, state. leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. <sighs> Let's hope nobody finds the camera. Jesus, nine hundred. I only got a hundred and something. That's crazy. Let's get our horse. I think yeah. that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, I wish it was daytime. Maybe we'll go back to camp and then do some, and do a sleep so I can do I can get a thumbnail because I actually haven't had a thumbnail yet. But I'm gonna go back to to camp get a witness. Mark White. Let's let's go handle this witness first. I don't need anybody saying anything. You get what I'm saying? Put our mask on. Then we can, uh, we can uh, see if we can, you know, let this witness. You mean Frank? All right, let me grab him. him up get these ropes off now okay you ain't gotta worry about me squealing nah I ain't even gonna this lie. is very kind of you <laughs> come on man looks like you've done this before <laughs> mister make it easy on yourself you ain't leaving here stop or I will shoot Hey, yo! Alright, now everybody's dying. Now everybody's dying. Now everybody's dying. Did they just kill my horse? No way, bruh. Come on, bro. How is this? How is this happening? Bro, this is crazy. I can't believe I just died like that, bro. That's crazy. Well, y'all get to see that I fail too. Y'all get to see that I absolutely fail half the time, so...
It is what it is. My bounty is 70 something dollars. No way, but I just died. How the heck? I just died. Why is my bounty still so high? You know what? That's gonna be the end of today's video, y'all. I'm like I've been trying, but I I don't know. I, I'm I'm failing right now at, at this game. It's like it's getting really, really bad for me. I don't know why. I'm like not playing it very well, I guess. But um yeah, thank you guys for all the love and all the support on these videos. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Um I'm trying, but this thing is like at certain points it gets so hard to even, you know, what's the word? I don't want to say do certain things, but it gets so hard to kind of be me cuz y'all know, y'all know I like to I like to think, but the fact that these guns, you know, they're not automatic, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Not saying that every gun needs to be automatic, but just the fact that it's like it's so much harder than what I'm used to. You get what I'm saying? So it takes some time to getting used to this game and and having to deal with the or having to not be able to instantly fire on anybody. You get what I'm saying? Or or put multiple shots down range. You get what I'm saying? But um that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys for all the love and all the support on these videos i do appreciate it i'll see you guys next time have a great day and have a great week make sure that i save my progress at least um and um yeah i'll see you guys next time have a great day have a great week